All right, check this out. A golfer is poised to become the first transgender woman to earn a ladies' professional golf association tour card after beating much of her competition in the first two qualifying rounds. Haley Davidson, 29, had a strong finish in the first two rounds of the first stage of the LPGA and Epson Tour Qualifying School in Palm Springs this week. Davidson, a Scotland native who lives in Florida, shot a 70 in the first round at the Shadow Ridge Golf Club in Palm Desert, California, and hit a 76 during the second round on Friday. According to the LPGA's rules, any player who shoots under 88 after all three rounds will earn a 2023 Epson Tour status, the official qualifying tour for the LPGA. Competing against 310 other women, Davidson is tied at 59th place and appears to be in a good position to pass the first stage and move on to stage two in October against the top 100 players. The LPGA Tour had removed its female at birth requirement back in 2010. Davidson last competed as a male golfer in 2015, after which she began hormone therapy treatments and underwent gender reassignment surgery in 2021. I know I have what it takes from being around professional golfers on the LPGA PGA Champions Tour over the recent years and staying very competitive with them all. Davidson said in 2021 while trying to fundraise for qualifying school. While I know I have the talent and mental game to make a career out of playing, the initial cost of tournaments and practice expenses is what truly holds me back. While failing to make qualifiers that year, Davidson stayed competitive in other tournaments, ending one match just three shots behind 2010 U.S. Women's Champion Paula Kramer. The majority of Davidson's time has been spent competing on the East Coast Women's Pro Golf Tour, winning three of the last five matches before the summer qualifiers. Although the top male golfers can typically hit the ball further than their female counterparts, Davidson claims that the majority of criticism about her competing in the women's circuit is transphobic rather than a real dialogue over the sport. Davidson said that after her transition, she now hits the ball 15 miles per hour slower. I've seen that it's not about protecting women's sports or me having an advantage. It's just that you don't like trans people, Davidson said of her detractors while speaking on the Like It Is podcast. If It's very sad that that's what it's come down to. In the last couple of months, that's what I've come to learn. Davidson's expected success in the first round comes amid a culture war in America over regulations and allowing transgender athletes to compete in women's sports. Although professional bodies like the LPGA and PGA set up their own rules and regulations, debates have erupted across the country over athletes competing in high school and college. The issue took center stage this year with UPenn swimmer Leah Thomas, who began competing in women's collegiate swimming a year and a half after transitioning. Thomas went on to break several women's records, much to the dismay of several of her teammates, and the NCAA and U.S. swimming bodies were criticized for allowing Thomas to compete. Professional Competitive Swimming Association, FINA, has since effectively banned trans women from competing in the sport by saying they must have begun to transition before puberty kicked in, which is illegal or almost impossible to do across most of the U.S. By the summer, 18 states had outlawed transgender students from competing in girls' sports. One notable example is Ohio, which passed a bill requiring students accused of being transgender to provide a doctor's note detailing their sexual anatomy anatomy, their testosterone levels, and their genetic makeup. In New Jersey, Republican lawmakers proposed the Fairness in Women's Sports Act, which would require female student-athletes to verify the nature of their genitals to compete. The bill's sponsor, Senator Michael Testa, compared genitalia checks to random drug tests that college athletes are subject to and said he didn't foresee any problems with irate parents accusing girls of being transgender. What do you think about males transitioning and switching over to the LPGA or trying to compete against LPGA professionals? Would you like to see who would golf in a dress? <laughs> That's it. Stay tuned. More content coming up.